New York City just has the, the balance of all things. Food, culture, dirt, cleanliness, wealth, poverty. It's the eye of the storm. <laughs> where, uh, that's where I like to be. I was born in Philadelphia, Pennsylvania, and um, I can't deny that I grew up in a violent environment. I mean, the most violent environment I've ever experienced. For high school, I ended up going to a creative and performing arts high school, which was 45 minutes away from my home. And that's where I just was introduced to an entirely different world. It was very shocking to see um, or meet individuals who had uh, quote unquote normal lives. The questions that I had weren't ones that could be answered, like, uh, you know, why was I born in such an environment or to such circumstances, or just because it was so drastically different from how I was raised and the individuals I grew up with. And that took me to a very dark place. School, actual school wasn't difficult for me. It was more the internal things. My girlfriend at the time called me mute. <laughs> when I was on the telephone with her, I, I would write down things to say to her, but could never get them out. I guess at that time I became more recluse. Staying in my room, writing, and um, and that's when I found painting. And I did exactly <laughs> the thing that people do when they need help, which was uh, recede. The most difficult part internally was this transition from sadness to anger. The anger just becomes this sort of um, repressed defense mechanism in a sense that lingered for quite some time and still does. <laughs> It was never a point where everything was just always horrible, but internally, it's, there were some pretty deep moments. Yeah, there was a point in time where I didn't understand what it would take for me to go forward in life in general. Uh, even leaving the house the following day seemed pretty difficult. Uh, waking up or just not being angry or or sad. And you're faced with these thoughts of uh, uh, possibly it's better to not exist. I still can relate to those. But making some sort of decision where you think you want to terminate your life or uh, it feels easier to not exist is, is a selfish way of thinking in a sense. Um, I've had a lot of friends pass away um, from violence and uh, I honestly feel very obligated to respect the fact that they had to lose their lives so early and I have the privilege to exist. So I have a responsibility to be positive and be bringing something forward to a human experience, to the human experience. 
Because it, it, if you want to be a part of anything, you have to participate, um, which is very oftentimes stepping outside of yourself. I started training Shaolin Kung Fu a bit ago, and that really helped with my anger. Anger is frustration with the way things happen in life that you don't anticipate or them going in a different direction than you anticipated or that you wanted. Kung Fu really helped. It's really difficult for me to read um, books like because I, I hate adjectives like when people start describing things uh, it becomes fantastical for me the one soft cover book at home on my coffee table is Mary Shelley's Frankenstein um, it's just amazing this concept of uh, being faced with adulthood without the transition of uh, youth commenting on society and uh, existence and questioning existence and, and struggling with existence. I think there's a huge lack of conversation concerning mental health. Most people struggle with all the same things, one way or another. I think it's really important that everyone knows that whatever you're dealing with internally, you, you need to be able to walk through that entire road. There's no correct way to exist. But for me, being positive will allow me to have internal and external strength to deal with certain aspects of life which other people may struggle with. So my, my goal in life is to uh, be a good boy. <laughs>